We're going to pretend, or let's just imagine that these gray rectangular areas in this diagram correspond to our two rear sights. This black rectangular area corresponds to our front sight. We are doing a sight alignment. We're doing nothing more than aligning our sights. Our sights are going to be level, and the front sight is going to be centered relative to the two rear sights. All sights should be completely level. I showed you three dots. I showed you one dot for the front dot, for the front sight, two rear dots for the two rear sights. If your sights are completely level, you'll see white dots going straight across level. That front sight should be directly in the center. There should be an equal amount of space to either side of the front sight relative to the two rear sights. Okay. That's sight alignment, aligning your sights. We got that? Now, all we're going to do now is take our aligned sights and point it at something, like a bad guy or a target. That is called developing a sight picture. In this diagram, in this sight picture, we're going to be shooting at a circle. To shoot this circle in the center, we have our aligned sights, and we put the bottom of that circle over the front sight. At room length distances, check your manual, but in general, you're going to aim at 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. What do you mean by 6 o'clock, Rick? If this circle is a clock, an analog clock, not a digital clock, you got an analog <laughs> clock, right? Six o'clock is where? At the bottom. At the bottom. We're shooting at six o'clock. I mean, sometimes technology gets in the way. There's going to be a day when all we have is digital clocks, right? Anyway, we're shooting at six o'clock. Right. Who's, who's seen a typewriter before, right? <laughs> Record player. Ooh, concepts, man. Getting old. You put six o'clock right over our line sights and you pull the trigger at room lift distances you should hit it directly in the center. Another way, let's get graphic. If you imagine that this circle is a bad guy's face and you have this determined desire to shoot him in the nose, you put his chin right over your front line sights and you hit him right in the bridge of his nose. 